so the next topic is uh, i mean the chapter is on uh, how to use the basic tools the basic tools uh, that are used are uh, bedboard multimeter i'll be telling you how to use bedboard multimeter how to solder and how to make a pcb and what are the cost of various components and what is the budget for your project uh, how to use the proteus software and how to generate the pcb well these are the following things that i'm going to teach you about breadboard multimeter cost of various components for your software solding and making pcb the first thing we are going to learn about breadboard so what is the breadboard and how it actually looks like this is what is called as a breadboard i am taking a snapshot of it well snapshot is taken okay so the breadboard actually looks like this um, actually there are a number of slots the uh, topmost slots uh, see the way how I am dragging the hand symbol okay these slots are actually short circuited next these slots are again short circuited and these five are again short circuited mm, to say clearly actually it looks like this okay all these slots from here to here are short circuited these slots are short circuited okay these slots are again short circuited short circuited so these can be used for power lines Similarly, these slots are short circuited. Okay, similarly, these five slots from here to here all are internally short circuited. So, for example, you want to connect uh, two ends of a resistor. Situations in such type of situations, what I can do is I can connect uh, one resistor in this slot and the other resistor in this slot. It means that these two ends of the resistors are internally short circuited. Okay, it means it's like uh, connecting these two resistors together, end to end. Okay, so breadboard um, uh, actually simplifies the design. Okay, reduces the error. Okay, so before going to test the entire circuit on a practical PCB, you get a chance to implement it and know the errors. So that is the importance of breadboard. Okay. So you just see how different connections are done on the breadboard. So it's a temporary checking. Okay. First of all, you implement the project on a breadboard, and if it if it works fine, surely it will also work on a PCB. If you want to fabricate it on a PCB, right? Okay. So there are such a number of things you can get on the internet, Google. Well. Okay that we are going to discuss is about uh, multimeters so multimeters most of you have might already used multimeters in various labs so if you are not used it no problem uh, multimeter actually looks like this so let me take a snapshot of this multimeter So this multimeter actually is what I am having. Actually, it is uh, pretty cheap. Okay, it costs around 100 to 120 rupees. Okay. So and I have used, I have been using that multimeter since uh, four years. So its uh, battery is also working fine. Everything is fine with it. So there are a number of multimeters that you can get on the internet, Google. Mm. Okay. This multimeter, this is an analog multimeter. Uh, this multimeter costs around 300 rupees. It comes with a rubber case with a back stand. Uh, it can also measure frequency up to a certain uh, limit. Okay, these are uh, high end multimeters. These do not have any probes, but uh, this can measure current and voltage without electromagnetically. And this is a multimeter that actually I am having. This this one and this one are almost the same. Okay. So this is the multimeter that I am having. So if you take this pointer here, it's in off. And you keep the pointer anywhere, it's generally on. Uh, explaining about multimeter is all the, almost uh, self-explanatory. There is nothing to explain about it. If you want to measure, uh, measure uh, currents exclusively, then you have to keep this pointer here. And here you have to keep the, the red wire and this is for ground, ground connection. And for other voltages, registers and any other measurements, you have to keep the red probe here and the black probe here. Only uh, for current measurements, you have to keep the probe, red probe here. 
ओके दिस इज फॉर ए सी मेजरमेंट दिस इज फॉर ए सी करंट मेज डी सी करंट मेजरमेंट्स ओके हियर यू हैव हेच एफ ई सो इट इज यूज टू हेच एफ ई सो हेच एफ ई इट इज यूज टू चेक दट वेदर एन पी एंड और पी एन पी ट्रांसफर वर्किंग प्रॉपरली और नॉट एंड वाट इज एम्पलीफिकेशन फैक्टर दिस इज द कनेक्टिविटी सो इफ दर इज यू हैव थिंक थिंग दैट यू हैव अ लॉन्ग वायर एंड यू हैव टू यू आर गोइंग टू चेक इट्स कनेक्टिविटी वेदर इट इज वर्किंग प्रॉपरली और नॉट सो यू जनरली कीप द मल्टीमीटर इन कनेक्टिविटी मोड एंड द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द वायर इज विद इन टू हंड्रेड ओम देन यू हर हियर ए बीप साउंड Okay, uh, this is used to measure resistances, this range, and this re range used to measure used to measure DC voltages. So when you buy a multimeter, it's all almost uh, self-explanatory. The cost of this multimeter is around 140, and it is definitely going to work out for uh, more than four years. Next thing is uh, how to solder and make PCB. PCB means uh, printer sold uh, circuit board. so in this video we'll be dealing with a pcb that looks actually like this so at the back side you have a number of copper discs where you can solder and on the front side you have a number of holes so this board is available for a cost of around 50 to 20 rupees in the market quite cheap okay so you can install various components that you have to solder and at the back side you can do the soldering i am not explaining clearly about uh, the soldering and all those details you can find it in uh, youtube videos these are very simple and uh, okay actually uh, this is what is a pcb so the, uh, right now the pcb that i was describing you was for hobbies but this is actually a pcb so this can things like this can also be designed okay this is actually pcb so these are all uh, pcbs now the next thing is uh, uh, what are the cost of various components and uh, how to calculate the budget of your project now for this i have designed a blog https http jagadish electron dot blogspot dot in just copy this url Control C and paste it in your web browser. Well, so go to September Tools for Electronic Hobbies. Okay, so here you have a list of various components. So these were a number of things that I have bought while I was learning how to design electronic circuits. So at the mean uh, meanwhile, I also noted down their costs. Okay, so these are the costs uh, in rupees. Okay, uh, so these are the basic components. First of all, uh, I'm zooming it. Okay. Uh, breadboard. The cost is around eighty to hundred rupees. Soldering gun. First of all, breadboard. The cost is around eighty to hundred rupees. Soldering gun. Uh, Soldron. From uh, solder company, it's a better a better one. Solder, uh, the cost is around two hundred to two fifty. Uh, soldering gun is nothing but a soldering machine. Next, the solder wire, cost is around forty rupees. Bit, bit is a soldering tip. Okay, it costs around forty five uh, rupees. Flux, flux is also a soldering material. It is used to enhance the joints of uh, uh, solder. The joint that we solder, multimeter, the cost is around one twenty rupees. I already said you adapter. Around forty-five rupees. Pro wires adapter. What is an adapter? It's a AC to DC converter. Every time you cannot depend on battery for a voltage supply. So you can buy an adapter which generally converts AC to DC or adapter, or rectifier, or eliminator, whatever you call it. Next, a pro wire. Pro wires are generally used on breadboards. Okay, it costs around ten to thirty rupees. And a PCB, PCB printed circuit board around fifty. 30 45 depending upon the size i just now i showed you a pcb that was generally used by project builders and hobbyists like next resistor capacitor inductor these are very cheap around 1 rupee 50 paisa okay next pcb cutter okay after it solder generally okay for example uh, 
uh, I have soldered a number of LEDs here. Okay, the legs of LEDs are generally big. So after you solder at the back side, the legs are generally big. And how do you cut them? So in order to cut the legs of those uh, LEDs and various components, you have a PCB cutter. The cost is around 40 to 50 rupees. Okay, hexa blade in order to uh, cut. Okay, this PCB. Okay. Yeah, in this PCB you only need this much part of the circuit. What you do is generally you can cut it by using a hexa blade, something like that. So it costs very cheap, uh, 10 rupees, something like that. And lists of uh, list of various ICs, zip socket, IC base. So on an IC base you generally keep an IC. Okay, if you solder a direct uh, solder an IC directly on the PCB, chances are the there that the IC may get I may get damaged. So generally we keep IC base over that we put an IC. A zip socket, uh, zip socket is a socket to place a IC. Uh, these are different different IC numbers LM317805 one. The cost of 8051 IC. It's a microprocessor is around 75 rupees. PIC at mega 16. Okay, there are a number of things. I am not explaining it clearly. Sensors, mic. Uh, mic, photo transistor, sensor, okay. Uh, speaker costs around 30, LED 1 rupee, light emitting diode, LCD 16S2, it costs uh, 160, 100 RPM DC motor 150, crystal oscillator, uh, cost is around 10 rupees, I didn't mention here, USB connectors, one pair, male pair and female pair 40 rupees, 9 volt battery 13 to 16 rupees, 8 pin DIP switch 35 rupees, uh, robot tiles uh, 75 rupees, uh, radio frequency transmitter and receiver uh, 390 to 350 rupees. So these are some of the basic prices I am telling you. Uh, so if you, why I am telling you this, if you know the prices, basic prices, uh, sometimes we go to buy these components, so nobody can cheat you. You can say that this component is available for so and so price and so you can uh, make a guess who is overcharging you okay who is genuine okay so that was all about how to estimate the cost of your project remember the blog most important thing is uh, the proteus software proteus software it's not a free software you have to buy it but if you want still want to use it free of cost no problem it's crack is available so first of all download the software Proteus. Okay, I have this. Okay, this is Proteus. So it's question you have crack. How we will be using that crack? Everything is available. Okay, so it's not a big problem getting Proteus 8 is the latest, but Proteus 7 is the older version. You can use anyone and how to learn Proteus. You can go to YouTube, uh, type Proteus tutorial for beginners. A number of videos are available on Proteus, and it is one of the best, best, best software that I have ever seen. You can design any software, you can uh, find, get the PCB layout. And well, now how to learn it? I will be teaching you very quickly in the next uh, few minutes. To install uh, Proteus software, now run the software. Go to File, New Project. Give a name for your project like KITS or KIT. Okay, go and go for this option. Uh, since you are the beginner, you are at a beginner, beginner level. Go for New Project. Enter Next. Create a schematic for the selected template. Select landscape A1. Create PCB layout. If you need a PCB layout, go for this option. If you don't need a PCB layout, you can check or check this option. So we need a PCB layout. Number of options are there, whether it's a single layer type or a double layer type. Okay. Better go for a single layer type PCB. Now here you have firmware. Okay. So firmware projects are for 8051 microcontroller based projects. Uh, 8051 AVR, PIC, such type of projects. And no firmware project means uh, simple projects where you do not have microcontrollers. Next, finish. Go to schematic capture. 
go for components press p type arrays i s t o r register okay here are a number of registers are available select any one register okay zoom it just scroll to zoom it click register you can turn the register in any direction you need place the register place the next register right click it place go for terminal ground this one is the ground connection right click place terminal power this power option is by default 5 volts if you want you can uh, if you want to give 12 volts you have to mention it explicitly okay now i run the project it's running fine so now how to measure voltages and everything go for probe option enter probe connect it here now this is an voltage divider circuit so this, if this is 5 volts uh, here you will be getting around 2.5 volts that is what i expect okay, you are getting 2.5 volts so it's working fine so i have made a small mistake okay i have removed the register let me see what happens so it shows zero volts so you right click on any, right click anywhere right click two times anywhere that component is deleted so that is one of the good advantage in this software well if you want to change the value of resistance to 200k you can do it okay now run it now this is the voltage level it is showing okay now going to the pcb layout pcb layout first of all go for r1 uh, zoom it by scrolling okay go for component mode select resistance r2 the moment you click here okay let me take this next so here i have placed r1 so here that option is not available now i have to place r2 resistance so how i have to place it place it somewhere if you want to rotate it right click it go to rotate if you are not satisfied you can again rotate 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 clear so this is how we can uh, rotate it so uh, i am interested to place it here so if you are interested to place it somewhere you can drag it okay now there must be a connection between these two so what i do is press this option edit it what is the width i want to give like 20 you can give 30 zoom it press here click now these are connected okay so if you want to do the connection automatically what you can do is go for select the option square board edge select board edge option select the entire uh, circuit go for tools auto router not auto router tools auto router okay begin routing well now the routing is automatically done so if you want to do the auto uh, the 
if you want to connect the connections yourself you can do it or if you want it to be done automatically you have a tool you can do it no problem next here you have another option since there are no components here you can also try the tool i am not explaining about it you can try it yourself well, now since the, now the pcb has been designed you can go for tools not tools output export graphics export to adobe pdf okay now i am entering 100 now this is the pcb layout okay you can print it and you can design a pcb and you can place registers here okay so this is how to design a simple circuit using proteus software so complex circuits like ic triplified and everything can also be built i am not showing you right now but they can be done i have tried it thank you now you can simply close the video so that was all about uh, how to use proteus software thank you stay tuned for the next video
So now let's have a quick repair, recap of all the things that we have discussed right now. So in the chapter 2, learning the basics. Uh, I taught you about breadboard, multimeter, how to solder and make PCB. Okay, I did not tell you, but you can, it, the videos are available in YouTube. Cost of various components, I said you about my blog. Okay, and Proteus software, how to use it uh, in designing PCBs. Right, so almost we are completed, done with the... Uh, the second chapter uh, let me show you a few projects that I have developed uh, this is one project uh, it is a firmware project used uh, developed using 8051 microcontroller so once you design a project like this using 8051 double click it it acts for a file so this is the machine code so once you feed it feed the machine code it is going to run okay see this led blinks so this is output cr that is being shown here if you want you can stop it okay uh, one interesting thing that i can tell you for example this LED blinks around uh, three times for every one second. Let us say, okay. So even if you design this circuit practically, so this is a simulation. Okay, in this simulation, let us think that this LED blinks three times in one second. Even if you build this circuit practically, the same thing is going to happen. So whatever the timings that are shown by this software are absolutely correct. Okay, uh, coming to the next project. A 16x2 display. It's also a firmware uh, saw project developed using 8051 microcontroller. Okay, you can see the display on the LCD screen. It just shows Re Society. Okay. Uh, in later videos I will be showing how to use the LCD display to display your name, display numbers, everything. Clear? Now the next problem is uh, how to interface keyboard to 8051. Okay, let us run this. These are the various pins of 8051. Here you have a new, uh, numeric keypad. Uh, now let me press this first button 7. You can see that the first pin is high and other pins are in low. If I press the next, you can observe the changes here. I press 9, 4, 5, 6. Just observe the changes here that are going place. Uh, now I press 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. This is how we can interface a numeric keypad to edge the 5, 1. Now the next topic. Triple 5. IC triple five. Oh, this is the circuit of IC triple five. Now I run it. Here the LED glows on and off. Okay. So how much time the LED takes to glow on and off? Exactly the same time it will take practically. So there is a, a direct relation from the simulation to the real world. Okay, whatever you see in the software will happen practically. The next project. Okay, not going to the next project. Uh, the PCB layout. Okay, I have I have already explained how to make the PCB layout. Let us see the output. Uh, output, export graphics, uh, Adobe PDF. Okay. So this is a PC, PCB layout. I have 100%. Okay. After I print it, it looks like this. Now, once I have, I have this uh, PCB layout. Okay, I can place my IC triple five here. Registers, capacitor. I can. I have to drill holes on the PCB. That's it. Okay, I'll be explaining you how to design a PCB board also. This is just the layout, overall idea. That's it. Clear. 
that I have developed is uh, a numeric display. See it. Okay, I'm zooming it. One, two, three. Just counts. Clear. Stop in the project now. Come into the PCB layout. This is the PCB layout. If you want to export it, you can go to output, export graphics, uh, export Adobe PDF. Okay. This is uh, you can press hundred. If you go, you are going to print that uh, PCB layout. It is going to come like this on a paper, A4 sheet of paper. Okay, here you. Uh, this is the uh, the microprocessor. This one is another IC. Well, so that is about how to use uh, use and get the PCB layout from Proteus software. Uh, one more thing is analog to digital converter. This is analog to digital converter ADC 8004 IC. So this is output, this is the input. So if I make it uh, 0, completely 0. See, you are getting the output all zeros. If I increase it, the output changes. And if I increase it to the maximum value, we have all ones. So you can design any circuit using this Proteus. And things, if things work fine in Proteus, it is also going to work fine in your hardware. Next thing is a real time clock. Now, what is a real time clock? So, this is the microcontroller 8051, and this is a real time clock. Okay, the chip name of the chip is DS1307. We am interfacing it to this. I'll also tell you how to do that project. It shows uh, the time, sorry, time, uh, day, and the date. So, projects like this can also be done. Clear. Yeah. And if you want to draw the schematic and the PC layout, that can also be done.